Hi, I'm Sangeet Sangarula and I'm from Nepal. Uh, I come from a small town called Birgans. It's in the south side of Nepal. And if I want to go to the nearest town in India, it's just maybe probably 25 to 30 kilometers. A lot of my relatives have a lot of friends there. A friend and he was telling me like, the COVID-19 is spreading like a wildfire. Just uh, do some regular check like what is happening. If things are getting worse or better. And best of that, I will call my parents and talk to them. And we talk more often these days than what we were doing before. So when they, they don't feel alone. My parents are school teachers. This outbreak has happened, right? So they had to close their schools. And when I talk to them and when I see news and news of like peasants not getting oxygen, not getting ambulance, not getting enough medicine, right? Those kind of things definitely is heartbreaking. I'm worried about not only my parents but other relatives. All the people that I know and I talk to, they are maintaining like, they are not going anywhere. They are strictly indoors and trying to like, you know, observe self-isolation as far as possible. Hello, Robertson. It's going to be a month we have been in lockdown. In uh, Kathmandu, every store is open for like two hours in the morning so we bring whatever we want and all day it's uh, strictly a lockdown our education is being worse not me i'm doing my online classes but some of the people living in the village so there has been in some of the cases more than a year loss in our studies so yeah i remember like you were telling me the other day like your cousin right she is a nurse right she also got infected right yeah. so how is he doing now I guess. So, so how are your parents now? Like, yeah, indoor all the time, no works. Yeah. She is waiting for a second shot, but uh, due to Corona again, yeah. it's it has been stopped. Uh, our uh, neighborhood, she was infected of coronavirus, and uh, we called a hospital, and they said uh, we don't have uh, any beds, uh, we don't have any weird uh, places available to stay. So she is struggling herself in her only house and people are being more cautious about it so we are we are very scared but we are not uh, giving our hopes down so yeah that's it initiate it uh, for government because uh, they are giving their full attention this time yeah i went in 2019 so it was for like a week but i was with some other friends so i could not spend a lot of time with my parents I was thinking maybe later I'll go and see them again, but then this pandemic happened, right? So then, and now, now this second outbreak, and now I don't know how many more outbreaks we might have to see. So, uh, last week, the Prime Minister of Nepal, like he went on television and he appealed in the international community to help Nepal to to avoid thing from getting things worse. I think like China has been like uh, very helpful to Nepal. The first shot that many Nepalese got were also from the from Sino Farm, right? And I think like the Chinese government is trying to export like almost 20,000 cylinders of oxygen. Today, like you know, the, it happened in India, and then tomorrow it can be anywhere else. So if we want to control the situation, so I think not only India, not only Nepal, but I think it it needs a very strong like global response. Big countries like China, US, uh, maybe countries from Europe, I think they also need to be more come together and just try to collectively help countries like Nepal.